compressed air qualification. Greetings from Everyday GMP, I am your presenter from Everyday GMP. Today we will discuss compressed air qualification, especially used in natural science industries like pharmaceutical and nutraceuticals. Before we start, please subscribe to get more informative videos. So, let's start. Today we will discuss its introduction, some definitions, what level of compressed air purity is required in your operation, understanding air quality factors, compressed air system components, compressed air testing and acceptance criteria, further documentation and validation, ISO 8573-1 to 2010, contaminants and purity classes of compressed air. In the last conclusion. So, let's start with its introduction. Compressed air is a vital energy source and a critical utility in pharmaceutical manufacturing, used for a wide range of applications including cleaning, conveying, and packaging. This presentation will focus on the importance of compressed air qualification in pharmaceuticals, including regulatory requirements, testing methods, acceptance criteria, documentation, and validation. Compressed air is in a key component in many pharmaceutical manufacturing operations. Air power is used in processes such as tablet manufacturing, cleaning and drying, transporting products, packaging and more. Because compressed air has such close proximity to products, extremely high air purity is required. Increasingly stringent regulations on purity have many pharmaceutical manufacturing operations using clean room classifications as outlined by ISO 14644. Some definitions. What is dew point the temperature at which water vapor begins to condense? Microbiological organisms viable colony forming units which may be bacteria, fungi or yeasts oil the mixture of hydrocarbons composed of six or more carbon atoms, C. Particle a small discrete mass of solid or liquid matter. Particle size. Length of the greatest distance between two external boundaries. Relative water vapor pressure relative humidity. The ratio of the partial pressure of water vapor to its saturation pressure at the same temperature vapor. Gas that is at a temperature below its critical temperature, and which therefore, can be liquefied by isothermal compression. What level of compressed air purity is required in your operation? Air purity requirements depend on the application and the specific requirements of the clean room. The International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineers (ISPE). Good practice guide specifies, in cases where the gas is entering a classified area, it is required to at least meet the room classification limits established for the clean room environment, 2016. The recent US FDA guidance for industry sterile drug products produced by aseptic processing, current good manufacturing practice also recommends, compressed gas should be of appropriate purity, and its microbiological and particle quality after filtration should be equal to or better than that of the air in the environment into which the gas is introduced. The factors that need to be understood in a pharmaceutical manufacturing environment to improve air quality are Understanding air quality factors Understand the impact of air quality on the work zone, workers, and the product or service manufactured Review direct product contact, indirect product contact, USP, and ISO 8573 air standards understand your requirements Do you need a clean room in your factory? Clean room air quality is expensive to deliver and maintain. Identify the current air quality in the non-clean environment. Determine the air testing equipment required with sampling media. Determine the particulate control level required for your environment, size and count. Regulatory requirements. Compressed air in pharmaceuticals is subject to regulatory requirements, including USP less than 797 greater than for sterile compounding, less than 800 greater than for hazardous drugs, and less than 825 greater than for non-sterile compounding. The FDA plays an important role in ensuring compliance with these requirements, and failure to meet them can result in fines, product recalls, or even legal action. Compressed air system components. A typical compressed air system in pharmaceuticals consists of several components, including compressors, filters, dryers, storage tanks. Each component has a specific function in maintaining air quality, such as removing contaminants and moisture. Proper maintenance and monitoring of these components is critical for ensuring the quality of the compressed air. Compressed air testing. Testing of compressed air in pharmaceuticals typically include particle counting, microbial testing, moisture content analysis, oil content, 
Testing frequency. The frequency of compressed air testing in pharmaceuticals should be based on regulatory requirements and best practices. Factors that may affect testing frequency include the quality of the air source, the complexity of the distribution system, and the potential risks associated with the specific application of compressed air. Acceptance criteria for compressed air in pharmaceuticals include limits for particle counts, microbial counts, and moisture content. Failure to meet these criteria can have serious consequences, such as product contamination or compromised efficacy. Corrective actions may include maintenance of the compressed air system, retesting, or even suspension of operations. Documentation. Documentation is a critical component of compressed air qualification in pharmaceuticals. Records should be maintained of test results, corrective actions, and system maintenance, as well as standard operating procedures, SOPs, and validation protocols. Proper documentation is necessary to demonstrate compliance with regulatory requirements and to ensure consistency and accuracy in testing and maintenance. Validation of compressed air systems in pharmaceuticals is necessary to ensure that they meet regulatory requirements and perform as intended. Validation includes several stages, including design qualification, installation qualification, operational qualification, and performance qualification. Validation should be performed by qualified personnel using validated methods and documented in accordance with regulatory requirements. ISO 8573-1 to 2010, Contaminants and Purity Classes of Compressed Air. ISO 8573-1 to 2010 specifies purity classes of compressed air with respect to particles, water and oil independent of the location in the compressed air system at which the air is specified or measured. ISO 8573.1 identifies three primary contaminant types as prevalent in a compressed air system. Solid particulates, water and oil, in both aerosol and vapor form, are recognized. Each is categorized and assigned a quality class ranging from class 0, the most stringent, to class 9, the most relaxed. The end user user is responsible for defining the air quality required for the particular application or process. Air treatment manufacturers present technical data in reference to ISO 8573.1. An easy to understand ISO 8573, 1-2001 table defines the various air quality classes. The standard also determines that air quality shall be designated by the following nomenclature. Compressed air purity classes A, B, C, where a equals solid particle class designation B equals humidity and liquid water class designation C equals oil class designation. ISO 85731 The famous purity classes of compressed air. Here we see from 0 to 10 purity classes with reference to particles. Humidity and liquid water and total water. Methods of air purification. Different air purity levels can be done with varying methods of purification designed to remove specific contaminants from the airstream. Some methods are used as water separators. Coalescing filter dryers dry particulate filters and somewhere if required sterile filters. In the last we will conclude that compressed air qualification is a critical component of pharmaceutical manufacturing and failure to meet regulatory requirements can have serious consequences. Proper testing, documentation, and validation of compressed air systems are necessary to ensure the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. The full training courses are available on demand for on-site, online, and hybrid forms. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos.